What's up guys, Jean here back with another unboxing and today we are going to be unboxing this 9-in-1 USB-C hub. It's not particularly branded by any company but they are sold by Comcare I think is how you say it on Amazon. So without further ado let's just go ahead and jump right into it. So here I have the one that I am mainly featuring, which is the USB-C 9-in-1 hub from Comcare. You can see that it's branded here, but on the box that it came with, it didn't have that branding on it. And it is sold for $55.99, which is basically $56. And you can see here that there are a lot of ports that come included with this hub. So it's nice because it also comes with that RJ 45 ethernet jack which a lot of hubs don't come with so if you're a person that prefers to have that wired ethernet connection like I do then this is a great perk with this USB hub in comparison to some of the other ones. So if you look over at the other USB-C hub that I will be reviewing that is the Who2 USB-C adapter and this one is for $50. I have this dark gray model and this one basically has almost the exact same things as the previous one, the Comcare one, but missing the ethernet jack, the headphone jack, as well as the micro SD card. And it's only about $6 cheaper than the previous one. Then taking a look at the Apple one, the Apple manufactured USB-C hub costs $60 and it basically is super simple as most Apple products are so it has that USB-C multifunctioning. There's the HDMI port as well as the USB-A port so very simple. This one costs $60 so this one is the most expensive out of the three USB-C hubs that we will be looking at today. All right, so it's first taking a look at the box. You can see that it says nine in one multifunctional USB-C hub, as well as the SD and TF card reader. And it has all of that outlined on the side of the box as well. And it says that it can also support gigabit ether ethernet. The 4K HDMI, as I had mentioned before, is set to 30 frames per second. So let's go ahead and just unbox this. So if we take it out here. Oh, this is a tricky box. So we can see that it has a tab here that you can pull. So we're going to go ahead and sorry, pull that tab out. So it's actually a box inside of a box. So if we look at this inside. Okay, so here we come sliding it out. And first thing you see is that user manual. It says USB-C 3.1 hub adapter. This is the user manual. So if we open that up, it will explain what all of the ports do. And it's just a little note to the customer. And you can see here that it says the resolution as well as the disclaimer that you cannot use the 4K HDMI output at the same time as the mini display port. So that's that disclaimer. And taking a look at the back, it gives you specs on the RJ45 on the speeds that can be delivered as well as you can see here it says that the max charging power for the USB power delivery is 60 watts. So I would probably recommend that it's for the 13 inch MacBook Pro as well as the smaller models because the 15 inch MacBook Pro supports 87 watts. So you won't, it, it'll still work, but it'll just charge a little bit slower. And it's nice that it comes with both SD card compatibility as well as a headphone jack, even though the Mac does already have one. But here it just lists everything out and what comes in the package, which is the hub and the manual. And there's information about the warranty and support. So let's put that aside and take a look at the hub we've got here. So here we've got it, Calm Care. I'm still not really sure how to say that. There's nothing else in this, so we're gonna put that off to the side. 
but I have to say that this build quality is pretty nice because it is all aluminum in comparison to the Apple one which is like plastic and you can tell that it's durable material so no matter how many times you end up bending this cable it will stay intact but it's also nice that it comes with a USB-C cover so if you don't plan on using it you can put this little cover on so that there is no dust that might get trapped in the little head and stuff like that so that's an option but if we go ahead and look at the different ports that it supports there is that 3.5 millimeter headphone jack the USB-C power input then that RJ45 ethernet port and it has it labeled here which is really nice so you can see that it says USB 3.0 upside down, USB 3.0. Then this one says UHD for the 4K HDMI. And then this is just the display port. And right now I'm going to go ahead and bring out the other two USB-C hubs that I will be talking about. So this is that Hutu one that I had mentioned before. This one says Hutu right there. The USB-C as well and this one has no TF card support but just a SD card and then three USB ports this one's meant for charging and then these two are USB 3.0 that supports up to five gigabytes per second and here is that HDMI port so then that side is the USB-C power that you could enter because it does say DCN. I can show it DCN. So that's the second USB-C hub that we will be taking a look at. Then this here is the Apple one. Super simple. Just comes with those three ports that were shown in that Amazon um, showing. So it has that USB-C port, the HDMI port, and that USB-A. And that's all there is to it. All right, so right now I have the MacBook here and then this external display right here. It says there is no signal. I just plugged it in. I guess it takes a little bit longer for the display port, but Yep, there it is, the exact same image. And all the other ports work fine. So the disclaimer that I had mentioned before about the USB-C port only supporting up to 60 watts is not a reason to technically disregard this device for those that have the 15 inch MacBook Pro because there are generally always two USB-C ports on the side of a MacBook. So you can just insert the power cord into the other port instead of into here. And I know that's kind of annoying for some people because generally if you are using an extended display, you want to have it all just running through one cord so that if you have to grab your device and go, you just unplug that one cord and just go. But this way you'd have to use two. And that's just if you have the 15 inch, just because this USB-C port right here that delivers power only supports up to 60 watts. So this is the port that matters if you care about the power. So right now I'm going to go ahead and test the RJ45 jack. So I've got my ethernet cord here. I'm going to go ahead and unplug it from the display and I'm going to plug it in to the for RJ45 jack. And then let's go ahead and take a closer look at the computer. I'll go ahead and open up system preferences so you guys can see the network information. So let's see, network. And then you'll be able to tell if it's using a another device if it shows up here. So it does not look like it's currently. Sometimes it takes a while to distinguish the network. So we're gonna wait. Is it this device? Yes. Okay, so there you go. It has a really long name. It says USB 10-100-1000 LAN. 
but you can see that it is plugged in or it is able to find the network connection and there is the RJ45 jack currently plugged in. So the RJ45 jack does work and I am generally just one of those people that prefer to use a wired connection over a wireless connection just because it's a little bit faster but I know a lot of people don't really care so. Thank you guys so much for watching my unboxing on the 9-in-1 USB-C hub. If you guys found it useful in any way, feel free to smash that thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel for further content. If there was anything that you thought should have been included in the video, feel free to drop them down in the comment section down below. And I'll see you guys next time.